The fallout from Rep. Ilhan Omar's 9-11 comments have seemingly split the United States down lines that would have been unthinkable just 10 years ago. Conservatives, Republicans, and everyday Americans rallied against Omar's downplaying of the deadliest terror attacks on U.S. soil as some people did something. President Donald Trump himself roared out of the gate, slamming Omar with a tweet containing footage of the horrific attacks spliced with her speech. Images are still fresh in many Americans' minds, and the Congresswoman's flippant dismissal of that day stung many like a slap in the face. We will never forget. Pick.twitter.com slash Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, April 12, 2019 Trending, Muslim activist calls out disgrace Ilhan Omar in brutal op-ed liberals, Democrats, and other out-of-touch people, on the other hand, had a markedly different reaction. Many of the Democratic 2020 hopefuls, including Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg, and Bernie Sanders, jumped to Omar's defense, attacking the president over the tweeted video. But those vying for a political office weren't the only ones using the controversy to attack Trump. Fox News host Chris Wallace didn't let the opportunity go to waste. His interaction with White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders on his Fox News Sunday show can be seen below. Talking with Sanders, Wallace aired only a snippet of the video, saying, Now that was the only five seconds we felt comfortable showing. Although Wallace admitted Omar minimized 9 11, he still turned his attention to Sanders with two questions demanding answers for Trump's video. Why is the president comfortable putting out horrible images like that? And secondly, Wallace said, does he worry at all about inciting violence against Muslims in general or Ilhan Omar in specific? First of all, both of these questions seem dangerously loaded. The first question throws the ball in the Trump camp's court, blaming him for the horrible images included in the tweet as if he's just posting them without any reason. The second is even worse, if Trump is worried about inciting violence, the obvious response would likely be, then why did he spread this video to his millions of followers? If Trump isn't worried about inciting violence, then it would play directly into the left's portrayal of him as a raging white supremacist hellbent on marginalizing minorities. Related, watch, Fox host nails Jill Brand as she desperately tries to worm out of question on hypocrisy Sanders shot back with a response that left Wallace scrambling to move on to his last question. Certainly nothing could be further from the truth, Sanders began. The president is not trying to incite violence against anybody, he's actually speaking out against it. She then quickly pivoted, and went on the offensive. The question is, why is the congresswoman brushing this off dismissively? She continues to make anti-Semitic comments over and over again, and Democrats refuse to call her out for it, Sanders said. If she continues to do it. The president will continue to call her out, by name. He's not going to be ashamed, nor should he be. The only shame I see in this is that Democrats and others aren't standing up and taking the same hard line the president is. Wallace cuts in with an OK, OK, trying to get his final question across, but Sanders wasn't stopping. Do you think Sarah Sanders is right about Rep? Ilhan Omar? 100%. 4,184 votes 0%, 4 votes, that was one of the most horrific moments in American history, Sanders said, and for her to talk about it in such a dismissive way is frankly disgusting and abhorrent and I'm glad the president is calling her out and holding her accountable for it. Sanders utterly turned these questions around into a non-negotiable stand against the insanity the left is trying to inject into our political discourse. And Sanders' unflinching stand is the right thing to do. Omar's downplaying of 9-11 should feel like a gut punch to every American, no matter where they were on that day. The only shame here should rest on anyone defending Omar or otherwise trying to distract from her completely unacceptable words. We are committed to truth and accuracy in all of our journalism. Read our editorial standards. Let's block ads. Why?